Hello aviators, Skyed with you and today is a special day. In this video I will tell you about the mistakes, buggies, BMWs and carbon. Today we have the newest and most advanced commercial airplane which you can buy. Airbus A350XWB, which means extra wide body. A long haul wide body airliner, developed by the Airbus Corporation, well literally now. Being a completely new aircraft, this model is the first Airbus plane, performed with a radically increased amount of composite materials. Despite the beautiful introduction, the story of our today's hero was full of problems and mistakes. Back in the early 2000s, when Boeing announced their 7E7 airliner project, the future Boeing 787 Dreamliner, Europeans did not take this challenge seriously thinking that the American is the new answer to their successful on-the-market model A330. Airbus started the development of a new A330-200 light, the modification with improved aerodynamics and new engines. The project was supposed to be announced in 2004. However, in 2004, after consulting with potential customers, it became clear that the future 787 will be much more efficient than the plane proposed by Airbus. The Europeans understood that the local modernization would not resolve the problem. They decided to develop a new wing and tail, and the project received a new name – Airbus A350. But the A350 was also heavily criticized by the customers. Once again they declared that Airbus is trying to gain success without applying sufficient effort. Their plane is just another A330 modification, and it does not meet the requirements of time. They needed a new plane, a completely new plane. Finally, in 2006 Airbus officially announced a new development project. Now the A350 was to be brand new aircraft, applying the best technology achievements. The project received the name XWB, which stands for Extra Wide Body. XWB is the official name of the aircraft family. Can you imagine? They looked at Boeing 787's beautiful name Dreamliner, the liner of dreams, set a meeting and decided to give to their plane its own beautiful name – XWB. Seriously? You have a combat systems called Mistral, Meteor, Victor Bombers, Rafale and Typhoon fighters. And you call this gorgeous new airplane XWB? This name may suit a phone adapter, not an airplane. Come on guys, shame on you. Ok, let's move on. The Rolls-Royce had started the development of a special engine modification, called Trent XWB. Thales Group began the development of the new avionics systems. American Rockwell Collins began their work on horizontal stabilizer elements. The interior was designed by famous Bavarian company. Yes, yes, it's the BMW. However, the serial production of the A350 was postponed, because at that time, Airbus was preparing for the release of their flagship model A380, and the corporation simply didn't have enough resources to create two big airplanes at the same time. Finally, the first A350-900 made its maiden flight on July 14, 2013. Flight tests were conducted in several countries and regions, with the temperature difference from minus 40 up to plus 45 degrees Celsius. In 2014, the A350 received a Type certificate, as well as the ETOPS 370 certificate. So, if you notice that one of the engines turned off, don't worry, the aircraft can fly for another 6 hours without any problems. The first commercial flight was made in 2015 by the Qatar Airways from Doha to Frankfurt. By the spring 2016, 10 airlines operated 62 planes. With reliability indicators of almost 99%, they are in air on average 12 hours a day. The A350 incorporates a number of new solutions and technologies inherited from A380, primarily a new cockpit and control systems. Nearly 53% of the airframe are made of composites. Those figures are close to the Boeing 787 Dreamliner with its 50%. The oval fuselage cross-section has a maximum outer diameter of 5.96 meters, compared to 5.64 for the A330 and A340. The cabin is nearly 12 cm wider than Boeing 787's cabin. The aircraft cabin is equipped with a new atmospheric system, 
that maintains humidity at 20% and also adapts the environment depending on the number of passengers on board. The aircraft has a revised undercarriage design. It can use several types of landing gears depending on the aircraft modification. A350-900 have four wheel buggies and the heavier Dash 1000 version has six wheel buggies. The A350 has a new composite wing. This wing is made of carbon fiber and it is also the largest wing among the airliners with one passenger deck, at least before the Boeing 777X enters the market. During the development Airbus abandoned their classic wingtips. They were replaced by the new large ones, similar to fish fins and cold sharklets. The new XWB glass cabin is unified with the A380 cabin and equipped with 15-inch LCD displays. Also, for the first time in Airbus, pilots can use the head-up displays, transparent panels showing the important flight information. Earlier, similar systems were used generally in military planes and came to a commercial aviation during the Boeing 787 development. Power plant 2 Rolls-Royce Trent XWB turbofan engines. This engine has modifications with a maximum thrust between 370 to 430 kilonewtons. In fact, this engine is a member of a family and an improved version of Trent 900 from A380 and Trent 1000 from Boeing 787. Finally, let's look at the modifications. Initially, there should have been three of them. A350-900 is the first and basic version. It has a maximum takeoff weight up to 280 tons, accommodates 325 passengers into class cabin and flies on a range of 15,000 km. This option was chosen as a basis for several future subtypes. Two of them are very interesting. A350-900F is a cargo version, capable of delivering 92 tons of cargo on a distance over 9,000 km. Airbus Corporate Jets ACJ350 is a corporate and VIP modification. The aircraft can carry just about 30 passengers, but the flight range reaches 20,000 km. In fact, you can sit on a chair and fly to any point of the globe. With its range, ACJ350 can fly everywhere, if only there is a good enough airport. A350-1000 is a large model with its length extended to 74 meters. Longer fuselage allowed to accommodate 387 passengers in two-class cabin. The aircraft can fly on a range of 14,800 km. Perhaps you've heard about one other version. A350-800 was supposed to be a shorter version of Dash 900, accommodating nearly 280 passengers. Initially, it should have been one of the basic modifications, but market research showed that its performance wasn't much better than the A330. When the A330 NEO project was started, the competing version was rejected. But instead, the Airbus developed another A350-900 version the ultra-long-range airliner or the ULR. This plane has an increased to 280 tons mass and additional fuel reserves inside existing fuel tanks, enabling up to 19-hour flights with a 9700 miles or 18,000 kilometers range. Crazy range! The first Airbus A350-900 ULR was rolled out without its engines in February 2018. It made its maiden flight on April 2018. Singapore Airlines, the launch customer, received its first Dash 900 ULR on September 2018 with 67 seats of the business class and 94 seats of the premier economy. It started the world's longest flights from Singapore to New York, and the Airbus has plans to make even more interesting planes, and we will wait for them. So this is a story of the carbon airliner. The story is at its beginning, and I think it will be long and bright. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Fast flights and soft landings to you.